Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. This is fun. All right. Well, folks, once again, we're gathered for a special occasion. And what is going on, my beautiful people? Snack here. Welcome back to our happy place. We are now on the seventh day of winter. And uh, yes, tomorrow, guys, is going to be the festival of ice. Let's see. It's going to be like around in the forest. And it's going to be around 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Let's sure that we won't be late. Uh, this is going to be exciting, guys. So anyhow, let's see. Mayor Lewis. Oh, it's about the festival of ice. And our partner melons is about to be harvested in two days. And again, uh, the best uh, soundtrack of the game is just uh, winter. I forgot the name of the soundtrack. It just makes me feel so emotionally good. It feels so, it makes me feel so at home. Hello chickens. I'm happy that they're, they're happily cozying up in our little coop. They've been producing a very large eggs. Lately, that means uh, they're very satisfied of where they are right now, which makes me proud as well because um, that would let me know that I'm doing the right thing for the our lovely chickens. There's some hay for you. It also looks like the heater here is really, really doing a great job. So I've set up two fish baits. And finally, uh, we have now one, we have five sprinklers. So we are definitely more than ready for next season. We have an upcoming second sprinkler or a sixth sprinkler. I'll just set it up. There you go. And would you look at that, guys, at the upper right. It, uh, it's actually Caroline's birthday. The spirits are neutral and also the traveling merchant is in town. And I've been diving the cave lately. Big time, we are now at level 105, I think, at the cave. And I'm gonna say that mining is one of my favorite activities in the game. Let's go ahead and check out the traveling merchant's products right now. Oh, there's an uh, an arrowhead. Oh, we can give this arrowhead to Gunther. Hello. The duck egg is at uh, 800 gold. That's too expensive. The, uh, the sap is 100 gold. Too much, bro. Oh, hey, we have a bubble here. Let's check it out. Okay, there you go. And it, it is gone. I, we got an algae and then it's gone. That's so weird. It was supposed to be, uh, when you have a bubble, it's supposed to be a good catch, right? Shane's gone a lot and... Aunt Miney is busy all the time, so I have to invent my own games. Oh, poor Jazz. But I'm pretty I'm pretty happy that you have, uh, because of this, you are getting creative. You're not complaining. People should learn from you, especially me. I'm thankful for all my toys. <laughs> With all help of your toys as well. Man, you are a role model. Look at this man. Look at this guy, Jasmine. Even though... Even though uh, people were not around to play with her, uh, she didn't complain and just uh, find, found a way for a creative way to, to have fun and uh, something to learn from, right? Let's say hi to her darling Leah if she is around. Hello. Oh, she wants uh, she wants this, a holly. This is a really nice, as usual, really nice gift. I can't be frugal with my lifestyle, but sometimes I feel like my art career is a ticking time bomb. It's fine. <laughs> The important thing is you love what you're doing and also you're inspiring other people like me and uh, the children as well. Do you know if anyone's made it by the, on a starving artist lifestyle? <laughs> it's fine, you have my farm. You know, we're, we're going to be moving soon together. <laughs> You'll have all the produce, the forages while you enjoy your art. All right, let's see what we could give to... Caroline, thank you. This looks special. <laughs> Snow really brings out the child in everyone. Tomorrow's festival should be a lot of fun. Totally. I totally agree. Oh, a blueberry tart from the trash. Not bad. And our arrowhead is going straight to the Gunther's Museum. Nice. All right. We have a lot of books to read, man. But anyway, I'm so lazy right now. I just want to walk in the winter and this wintry snow without any jacket. I wonder why we are not frozen cold. All right. Uh, well, I need a lot of food because I really wanted to go deeper, the deepest I could get in the mines during winter and uh it seems that we're running out of food here uh let's see what could we buy uh, let's go to uh gus's place and let's see what he have for us oh look at this look at this guy this is fun all right well folks once again we're gathered for a special location <laughs> nice now nah, this is so good this is so cool guys what is this a huge it's a humongous tortilla or something it's like a pizza i don't know a rare visit from a very dear friend my world famous giant eyes ah, an omelet <laughs> 
This is fun. Zesty bell pepper, juicy tomato, rich mushroom, and tangy cheese. All enrobbed in a blanket of rich, fluffy egg. Dig in, folks. All right. Munch, munch. Yum, yum. So good. Tastes so yummy about me. Where am I? Wooly, what do you think? Mmm. Mmm. The mushrooms are a tad chewier than last year. Is that a good thing? Aye, lad. <laughs> so cool. It's great, guys, and it tastes even better because it's on the house. <laughs> this says you're so rich and yellow. Marnie, are these from your place? It's from my place. Nope. You can thanks snap over that over at Hello Farm. <laughs> Told you guys. Ah, oh, Hello Eggs. <laughs> yeah, those are Hello Eggs. Mmm, Mr. Mayor seems to love it. That was fun, everyone. That was fun. <laughs> it's so, um, it's so fulfilling when everyone, if you when you planted uh, with uh, your own sweat and blood. With all the hard work, with all the months and years you've waited, and then someone will appreciate your work. It's just so fulfilling. Oh, I get it. That's why uh, Gus, there was a one task that Gu Gus asked for 24 eggs. That is why he asked for a lot of eggs because he was planning to, to make that huge omelette. Pretty fun. Pretty fun, guys. So I wanted, uh, uh, maybe we could buy some few breads. Five of bread. So we could hit into the mines. All right, Gus, I'm so happy that you like, that you, uh, I mean, that you shared your rare giant omelette using the hello eggs. And before we forget, you guys, let's see. Uh, we need to check out Caroline. It's her birthday. Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, Judy, hello. She's thinking about this uh, salmon berry. Thank you. This makes my day really special. If I was rich and the first thing I'd do would be to hire a maid and a chef. <laughs> my goodness, that would be nice. Now, Caroline, where are thou? Caroline, where are you? All right. Seems that she's out. Hey, uh, Perry, I may know where your wife is. I have something for her. She's her birthday. Oh, Caroline is at near the community center. Let's go, you guys. Let's go. It's now 4 p.m. Hey, Caroline, here you are. Let me give you a very yummy, yummy uh, blueberry cake which I found in in the bin <laughs> and she's so happy. Thanks, sweetie. That's very kind of you to remember my birthday. <laughs> oh, with a hot cup of green tea. It's like the cold it doesn't even matter anymore. All right. Why? Oh, it's 5 p.m. I still wanted to go down in the, in the mines. Let's let's see. Exactly. We are now at level 105. Oh, well, we could go 110. Let's let's see. Let's try. And we have a lot of enemies here. These shadowy creatures. Looks like they've been... Uh, the, the deeper we go in the mines, the more we encounter a we encounter of them and also this guy here it's a crab hiding in a stone also these people here are not people but uh i don't know what these guys called but they are they look like some armored creatures oh we have a monster compendium what the what on earth is this okay it's a book monsters have a small chance to drop double loot can we learn this all right there you go we've learned it let's see what it does really what it does really is... All right, here we go. Aha, that's fun. We have one more guy here just waiting for us, lurking around, waiting for the right opportunity to strike. But unfortunately for him, uh, we've detected him and also we've found a diamond. Not bad. Uh, this guy here is... This guy here, the the, the the ball guy that is... It looks like a ball that is... Look at that. The one that's... Ah, that's firing. It hurts a lot. All right, there you go. Haha, <laughs> nice. We have more gold ores also. Oh, we have more. Let me just get rid of this red slime. Look at that, you guys. Let's see. We have a diamond, I believe. This one. Aha, uh -huh, more diamonds. What a fun level. And look at this. We have like... Oh, we're so lucky. We have two golden ores from the left and right. Oh, let's just get rid of this guy here. Oh, more enemies are coming. Looks like this place is very well protected by these creatures. And we just died. No. Oh, I did not see it coming. Oh, so bad at this. So we've lost 37,000 and three items from the backpack. Oh, we've lost. Oh, man. This is we lost two diamonds. Winter root and a holly. This is so depressing, you guys. This is so depressing. I need the I I need to walk in the park. Just just a minute. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So oh well. Well, we'll just uh those are just diamonds. The important thing is that we're alive and uh Elias was able to help us, which is great. Just look at the bright side, count your blessings, not the problems. 
And you know, now be, you'll be surprised how blessed we are. But still, I feel so bad. I could have prevented it if only I was not... Uh, <laughs> I, can, I did not get cocky at underground because of this sword. And also I have the mod that, that does the fast attack speed. Man, uh, something to learn from it. Well, at least we were able to gather these uh, nice uh, raw materials. Oh man, I need to get some rest. Let's go. Hey, good morning. Unfortunately, the spirits today are mightily perturbed. Maybe because we've disturbed them. And then uh, it's a clear and sunny day all day. Ah, I noticed that every time it snows, uh, the spirits are happy. Could it be uh, connected? Not sure. Good morning, plants. You miss me? All right. It seems like you're starting to get close with some of the townspeople. If you want to show someone that you're romantically interested, you've got to give them one of my beautiful flowers. Yay, yay. Well, let's try it out. Why not let's buy a two bouquets and give it also to, to aside from Leia, we'll give it to Abigail, Perry's daughter. What's, what is he going to say? <laughs> so let's check out our profession. We are a rancher, a uh, miner. Okay, at least uh, we're able to get 24 or more uh, from our animal products. We're a miner and we are fully taking advantage, especially now it's winter. We're a gatherer as well. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, I did uh, chose trapper because uh, although I enjoy fishing, I like passive passive income like i'll just put something there and it will come and for the fishing i it's more for my one of my recreational activity anyway i haven't really <laughs> crafted any any uh trapper or what, what do you call this i don't even know the name of that uh also i chose the scout uh because i wanted to have 50 percent more uh, critical rate increase no oh, maybe we'll all we'll, oh, let's see i forgot its name i forgot let's see yeah Crab pot, yes, absolutely. I forgot a crab pot. Oh, also, I I might want need to upgrade our tools. Uh, I'd be upgrading our uh, pickaxe. It's gonna be the perfect time, I think. All right, let's go uh to the. Oh, we have a pine tar. So we have uh eight gold of bars. It's a lot. Uh, we need to craft more coppers. But unfortunately, we no longer have... Well, I think we need more iron. So we need to upgrade our uh, pickaxe with iron. So I wonder what, what at what level irons are abundant. I forgot. Oh, we have a lot of irons here. Haha, <laughs> we only need coal. We have 90 irons. Oh, maybe I could buy uh, coal from uh, Clint. Oh, the festival is now starting in Marnie's Ranch. Near Marnie's Ranch. Good thing. I forgot. Good thing we've saw we've seen the prompt. I was close. We've almost missed the festival. So tomorrow, uh, well, hopefully we can uh, buy some coal or uh, do some mining and get some coal. Let's see. And look at that, you guys. Here we are. This is so fun. Everyone is... Uh, having fun doing some eye sculptures and look at this leia hey leia what a beautiful mermaid you've sculpted hey elliot come on bro what are you why are you watching my uh, darling leia she's taken <laughs> anyway just kidding and nice to meet you elliot hope you're doing great so you're going to be entering the competition today all right sure go ahead it's gonna be a competition except that me and leia are together now all right oh eyes a beautiful material to sculpt in but so impermanent <laughs> Totally. Only you and I are permanent, Leia. Only you and I. <laughs> but I guess that might uh, make uh, the art even better. That's nice. I'm sorry, but carving ice pa pa parapets requires my undivided attention. Sorry. Bye. Everyone is having fun. Look at this. Oh, we have these yummy sauce. Cranberry sauce, a stuffing, and also stuffing the smell of warm bread and sage. And also pumpkin soup. My favorite. Pumpkin soup. It adds luck and uh, defense. Nice. What kind of snowman should we make? Uh, pen, let's see. Well, we'll do something classic. I know you like it. Some carrot nails, top hat, and a scarf. I guess maybe it's best to stick with the classics, huh? <laughs> uh, totally. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition. We set up this frozen lake and stuck up full of fish. Just let me know. Yeah, let's go ahead. I am more than ready. So our goal is to catch as many fish as we can possibly can in two minutes using the provided rods. So it's, it's going to be fair. All right, we need to uh, catch the fish using the holes. All right. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Begin. Let's see if we, if, let's see if we can win, guys. Our uh, greatest competitor here is going to be Willy. And we are done. All right. We got like a total of six fishes. Let's see who's going to win. Oh, wow. There's a lot of fish. And the winner is Snack with six big slimy fish. <laughs> Man, I think Willy, got, uh, Willy uh, did 
it easy for us because he wants us to win so we'd be more inspired to fish thank you so much wow this is a lot we have a sailor's cap a dressed spinner barbed hook and a magnet but to tell the truth guys willie is a real winner because i'm only an apprentice he's my master and not only that I'm, I'm pretty sure that he let me win oh i thought we we're gonna eat the fish all right bye fishy grow grow bigger so i could catch you again and eat you <laughs> all right we've won guys let's try out this a sailor cap let's see but i love my bunny though aha look at this looking good huh uh but my bunny is the best welcome to the ninth day of winter the spirits are in good humor today looks like we're gonna go mining you guys let's see we have like five of bread and also yesterday we've just won the fishing competition which is very awesome we've got like those um wonderful prizes and also we've learned pumpkin soup from robin say hi to eggnog hello eggnog aren't you cold my boy and finally you guys look at this we're able to harvest the powder melon oh they look so magical named out for the powdery coating that forms on the surface this melon is crisp and sweet with a delicate flavor aha uh okay uh there are some little ones here uh, let's uh, go ahead and craft more seed from this melon all right now the question is where can we find more coal uh well we'll see if clint is selling one if uh, we could afford it and uh which level mine level oh we found uh, an ancient doll and also a prehistoric tool looks like tomorrow is gonna be sebastian's birthday i will forget it again hopefully not though <laughs> and looks like we have new task from the new bulletin board uh she needs uh 80 hardwood uh, fragments from the past calling all amateur paleontologists i need a hundred pieces of bone from my studies please drop off okay bone bone which means uh we're gonna be hitting those uh, skeletons okay now to time to donate this ancient doll and hey this is the first time i saw this question mark here what the what on earth is this hold on uh what is this question mark here can you explain to me mr gunther uh the same thing what could this be hmm hmm all right we'll soon find out all right so uh, clint is selling coal for a hundred this is too much but uh, it's it's okay we're gonna use um, we're gonna make the our money work hard for us that's how entrepreneurs think and we are not only a farmer but also an entrepreneur we have 14 coal from that <laughs> a well i guess that makes sense right because uh, we should not work for money we should um, let money work for us that's the purpose of it right all right you guys so i think i made the right decision uh we just bought 14 coal although it's a bit expensive uh, but we're able to save time especially it's winter we really need to get uh that uh big axe upgrade as soon as possible i could i should have really anticipated it i should have uh, tried to upgrade our pickaxe before a winter but oh well something to learn learn from i'm thankful for that so we have 90 iron ores okay okay let's see if we could finally go down to level 115 looks like we are right right off the bat we are in danger now we can manage this so i will not be cocky anymore especially with these limes here last time we all this lime got us because i was not looking at my health and i was like thinking oh i have a powerful weapon and i could swing faster but uh turned out that uh it took out the best of me so uh i want to keep my eye on our health we are now at a 90 percent of health that that's still safe if my health will go below 50 percent i will keep an eye up of our health very often let's see if that works we have a golden nugget here ha ah all right there go. oh man this slime red slimes really do pack a punch i should be very careful with these guys here oh, oh okay i'm gonna use this stone to cover all right that was perfect yeah looks like yeah th th we're gonna do the same tactics against the slime uh looks like we got two cave carrots from that all right we're gonna use the stone again to protect ourselves from the slime every time they l they launch themselves towards us it's very hard to dodge it's too fast i got impatient there and I paid the price. And it took like uh, more than 30% of our health. But we have a bread. Good thing we have. All right. That was quick. We are now at level 108. Two more levels to go. So we could get uh, to the elevator. All right. We have a diamond ore. Nice. We got one diamond ore. We have more golden uh, ores here. And a chest. And we are now at level 9. We have two slimes. Oh, this is, this is so tricky. I don't want to fight two slimes at the same time. Definitely it will kill me. Oh. Oh, I made a huge mistake. 
I rapidly ah oh gosh okay oh the level 110 is there's something about it it's just it really it really is testing me right now but it's fine we, we can do it uh let's see uh, we'll, we'll go we'll go down i wanted to try my 100 percent, even though i won't make it let's see but I, i'll try my best uh we're gonna be using bombs more convenient and faster all right that's good at least we got right away the ladder going down i'll just have to be very careful not to die again from these slimes oh there's two of them all right we got uh, both lord please help me oh awesome Although I have accidentally went uh, 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 on the surface, we quickly went down. We're now at the same level where we are right now. Unfortunately, uh, the area is now suddenly got infested. Uh, we can manage. Aha, uh -huh, finally we've survived, but there's a lot of bats here. Oh, this is not good. Need to open this up so we can attack him very fast. Don't give him time to compose himself to attack us. All right, we're going down 109. Awesome. One more level to go, guys. And we are now 110. <laughs> Man, I'm so glad we're able to make it. And we have a space boot. Hmm, what does this do? This is fun to look at, but a bit strange. How come there's space underneath the earth, which is the complete opposite? So let's see its stats. So it will add plus four defense and plus four immunity. An iridium wave gives them a purple sheen. Oh, this is good. This is good. We're gonna go ahead with this guy here. All right, let's go one more level down till 9.20 p.m. Hey, angry slime. I didn't do anything to you. We're going down 112. I have a feeling that we'll be able to go down 115. I have a feeling. Oh, uh, aha. So we, we get a bunch of gold air, uh, ores there. 10 of gold ores. And also uh, stairs going down. Oh, let me just get these uh, gold ores. That's in our sight. And head straight down to 113 level. We are now sleepy. I'm not sure. You know, I think we need to go home now. Let's not be greedy, guys. There's another day always. Let me just clear this place. And head straight home. All right. Uh, we have a barrel here. Oh, oh, I just noticed the cave looks like a star. Oh, boy. What does this mean? The cave looks like a star fruit. Hmm, this is weird. Okay, it'd be something here. Let's see. Uh, I'm not willing to, willing to die here, though. I, uh, I don't want to... I'm not willing to uh, lose, lose gold and items. Okay, that was good. And now uh, we have seven irons. Very good, you guys. Very good. Oh, more powder melon seeds. But unfortunately, we don't have time. Uh, let's run, run, run. I need to sleep, please. And we fainted. <laughs> That is it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. For more videos, you can look at the lower part of the screen. And uh, we'll be able to our, our combat, the six. And thanks again for uh, being here. Do, please do like and subscribe to help me out grow the channel. And as always, me we walk with patience and kindness because that is what love is. Jesus loves us so much. See you in the next video.